Luke it is Luke here and um I did say <laughs> Right, I did say at the end of my Death Eater Stallion wand review that there were two more wands. Um, that's that was kind of a lie on my part. There are three more. This being one of those three. Um, and in this review, um, so I'm very sorry about that little bit of confusion. Um, but for this video, we are looking at the wand of the second um, most evil wizard of all time, Gellert Grindelwald. So it does say Grindle. It just says Grindelwald though um, on here, and it's in the collector's box as always. So it does have the it does have the black sheath, and it's it does say uh, Grindelwald, a recreation of the famous wand on the sticker, with a light green box. Finally. Even though this is an evil wizard's wand, we have a box colour that isn't so evil. Um, and there's the wand in there. Um, and there's the Grindelwald name tag. So, for the actual wand itself. Um, this wand, in the context of the Harry Potter lore, was made by Grigorovich, who was a um, Bulgarian wand maker, I believe. Um, and I don't know if it was made like this, or whether there was an incident that had occurred when Grindelwald had used it that had caused it to snap like this, but the, the way I envision it is it looks like Bramble that's been... Like a, a bramble branch that's been torn off um, and you can see it's just it's basically a one that's been snapped in half with three red thorns to top it off so I will start here there is no base to speak of with this wand at all um, it's just a very thin branch so you have detailing throughout of kind of gold with with grey as you go through it and there is one of the only pops of colour this one ever has <laughs> or uh, has rather it's the first of the red thorns on there and then if you go further you've got more of the detailing here um, you have the Warner Brothers licensing in gold <laughs> so it does stand out on this one quite a bit um, and you do have little chips throughout it on the on the top, and you do have the inside where it's um, again got sort of the gold and the silvery grey going on, um, and you've got the second red thorn there, and again it just it it it, it sort of it warps around even more, and then you have the red and um, the third red thorn with a flat tip to to top it all off and even on the top here you have these little cracks again little cracks and chips um you have sort of a sort of a speckled texture to it ergonomically um it's quite comfortable um, you can feel the sort of edgy parts against your skin, but it um, if you like rub your fingers across the top bit, um, it does feel quite quite rough the the way a, a tree branch would, um, and the the red thorns on it give it a really nice um, pop of colour. Um, would I recommend? this wand um well if you're a fan of evil um <laughs> and you want a wand that looks evil definitely go for it um but it, this is very fragile because of the fact that it's well it's quite literally half a wand um, and because of that there's no metal rod keeping this together and there has been an incident with a youtube reviewer known as the mr olivanders who ordered 
two Grindelwald ones, and the first Grindelwald wand he ordered was broken, um, and the middle thorn was chipped, and the second time he got one of these, the wand itself was whole, like the, the actual body, but a, a, the same thorn was chipped again. Thankfully mine didn't have that problem, um, but yeah, you have to be very careful with this if, you think, if you're thinking about uh, buying it. But anyway guys, that's going to do it for this review on Grindelwald's wand. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys with the last two wand reviews. So until we get around to those, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. So until then, goodbye, you've been warned and mischief managed.